and everybody is ready to go for this matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Philadelphia Eagles here at Lincoln Financial Field. Get ready to light up the scoreboard for this one, Phil. Moments to kick off. Yeah, it's a good thing it's electronic and not man-held up there because he would be one tired guy when this game's over. They're going to score. They're going to score easily. They're going to score a lot. It's going to be fun to watch. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Turn ends rather quietly, short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. First and 10, it's handed to the running back. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. It's kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it, to see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. Rhythm, you hear it so often in sports, and it is true, especially on the offensive side. That's another first down by the offense. They got some rhythm, and these kind of these kind of drives usually lead to score. First and ten, the give. Now, makes the move to the right. Connor Barwin makes the tackle, imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Well, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. We watched them in practice this week, Phil, practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and receivers to make it happen. Bill, we heard from the defense. They wanted to get to the quarterback early and often, and they've gotten to him early. Well, they're off to a good start, no doubt about that. The offensive line, they got to know they're in for a long, tough battle today, and they better toughen up. Touchdown. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL. The fade route, the defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw, nice touchdown. An extra point is good. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. And he's out of bounds. <laughs> On first down. Good to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. But there's a flag thrown in. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Also, defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. Macklin's a receiver in the slot. Second down and seven. McCoy, a tackle behind the line. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive, proud of the line of scrimmage. And you just, you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. What a nice catch by the receivers. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. Chip Kelly now makes a debut in the NFL as a head coach. Coming over from the University of Oregon, there are a lot of folks who wanted him uh, coming into this offseason. Yeah, he was a hot coach. No doubt about it, Jim. A lot of people wanted him to be the, the head coach for their franchise. Uh, Chip Kelly, let's see. He might be one year late to the NFL. His system was used by a few teams last year. Now everybody spent the offseason 
getting ready for the read and react by the quarterback. We'll see how it goes for Chip Kelly. That's just a bad job by the quarterback that time. Bad decision. He keeps the football, doesn't fool the defense, and he gets taken to the ground. He loses yards. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. They're going to get him here for a sack. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed, and when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Fix looking long. Interception. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. It's first down as they head to the line. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. No one's going to get him now. The 30. The 10. Touchdown. That was a nice job that time by the offense driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off their defense. The Seahawks line up now for the point after. And it's a fake. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Tackled at the 13. The Eagles step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. They're going to run it right. I love what Michael Vick just did that time. He finds a little hole in the defense, and he takes off, and he picks up big yards and avoids contact. Nice job by Vick. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. And they go back to the ground. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Offense lines up here. Second down and three. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. On his way. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. LaShawn McCoy is just one crafty dude. He knows how to avoid tackles and pick up extra yards. Good job. That long gain sets them up here on this play. On the run. And the quarterback will bail out of this play and slide feet first. Michael Vick, after all these years, when there's nothing there to throw the football to, if he can't find somebody open, he can still take off and pick up some extra yards. Good job that time by Michael Vick. Searching for space to the right. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. Running away from the pressure. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Quarterback giving himself up. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shock. It's incomplete. Macklin's in the slot. Vick's going to take it from the gun. Looking across the middle, makes the reception. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now.
first down coming up. And the second quarter is unfan. He breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down in the 19. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Handoff. He's going to the left. And he's brought down by Ryans. Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and 10. He'll stay on the ground on first down. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Seahawks come out in the pistol. Get up, get up. Second and 14. The Seahawks get a first down, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. In this league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man coverage. First and ten. Harvins handed the football. They bring him to the turf. The Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play. Second and seven. Barwin gets to him for the sack. Well, you're on the offensive side. My gosh, you know they're going to blitz. So what do you do? You either throw the football really quick or you have your tight end and running backs help pick up those blitzers so the quarterback has time to throw it. The Seahawks now move the chains. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. Play number six coming up on this drive. Working that left side. Incomplete. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The throw to the left, right where it had to be. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Running a little touchdown, Seattle. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. No, it's not. It's a fake. Scrambling out of the pocket. The ball is out. They fail to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Macklin's lined up now as a slot receiver. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Gains 11. When you gain big yards like this, that means you have a lot of talent. LaShawn McCoy has it all. He can break tackles and he can outrun you also. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The Eagles get a first down. Nowadays, we see it all the time, don't we? Quarterbacks breaking contain, stepping up in the pocket, getting outside. And more and more, we're seeing uh, these guys are getting better at throwing the football while on the run. 
and it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And now they'll try over again on second down. That pass play picks up a first down. He's going to be tackled right around the 21 yards line. Nobody cares, just get the job done. Throw it deep down the field or throw it short to the running back and look at those extra yards after the short pass. The running play went for 11. Good job by the offense, they're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven, but the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? First down here after the completion. Game of three. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. And he's almost intercepted. And a flag comes out. Pass interference. Defense. On a deep ball, the pass interference call, it's as good as a completion right now. Yeah, that's right. One of the reasons why you throw the football deep in the NFL, it can be caught, it can go incomplete, or you get pass interference. Very seldom is that pass intercepted. They've got a first down now after that catch. McCoy is the fan. He's in for the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. He's got room. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. Screen pass makes the grab. He is tackled right at the 50. The quarterback that time realized that the zone coverage, he just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. Second and two. Running to his right. Good piece of tackling. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting. That is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Perfectly thrown. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and 15. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. The Eagles come out in the nickel. Third and forever. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them, here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. The 
quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a touchdown, Seattle. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. They're setting up return. They've got him down there. Coopers lined up in the slot. Foles will take it from the gun. The ball's deflected incomplete. Not a very good throw by the quarterback. The safety gets in good position and knocks it down. Shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Looking to the right side and throwing. Under pressure and incomplete. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Coopers, a receiver in the slot. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Escaping the pressure. Got a big lane. He'll step out of bounds. Well, good job that time by the defense. Get the pressure on the quarterback, but you can't let him break the pocket. Look at this time. He breaks the pocket. He's looking down the field. Nobody open, so he decides to run and picks up some big yards. McCoy's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Trying to make something happen. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. Coopers in the slot. Second down and 10. Going for the deep ball. Could have been intercepted. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. McCoy's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Looking to scramble. Fix looking long. That's an interception. He's brought down. That does it for the first half. Eagles trail in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks lead by 14. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. Guys, I get a chance to quickly speak with Bobby Wagner during halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. We'll send it back up to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Macklin's lined up now as a slot receiver. McCoy running to the left side. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. First and ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Quarters formation here for the defense. It's away from the pressure. 
He'll fire it out to the left. Intercepted. Tackles made. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. Nickel formation for the defense here. First and ten. He's looking to go down the field here. That ball was going the other way. Say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Macklin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Right side runs out of bounds. No game on the play. And here we have second down. To the ground here. Going to lose yards here. Well, there's defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long. Advantage goes to the defense. Throws to the right. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. McCoy is out in the slot. Out of the shotgun formation. Escaping the pressure. The interception. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. They come to the line and it's first down. And he's forced to the ground. The offensive coordinator's just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. So either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Goes deep to Sidney Rice. Finds the sacred side. Touchdown. You want to make your coach happy? Have the lead and have your offense just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Seahawks official. Percy Harvin's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. They go to the right side. Gain of 12. Michael Vick has a big arm and he has big legs too when it comes to making plays. He knows how to fake defenders out, get around them, and still pick up big yards. First down here after the run. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. McCoy's a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Second down and a long way to go. Left side. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Make this guy stand in the pocket and beat you throwing the football down the field. When you get out of your rush lanes and open up a lane like that for him to run in, he's going to take advantage of it, and he gets good yards. Incomplete. 
I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Vick in shotgun formation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Deshaun Jack. And that'll close the gap. What a nice job by the receiver. There's the long throw down the field. He runs, he looks it in, makes the catch, and scores. And a flag is down. Oh, he actually misses the point after. Offside defense. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. The Eagles with an extra point try on the way. He made it. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The receiving team has the recovery. The jumbo set on the field. He'll go left. And he's brought to the ground. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was. Gets it there and he moves those chains. Miller's move from the tight end position to the slot. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. Here's the quick toss. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. You got to have good vision to be a good running back in the NFL. And that vision means following the right guys. The running back does it, leads to a touchdown run. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Toss to the outside. So they get the touchdown but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. McCoy's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. In trouble now. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. So many times we see quarterbacks get in this position. They get out of trouble, but they're so terrible throwing the football on the run, they can't take advantage of the fact that they got out of trouble. Not this time. Good throw on the run. First down on the way. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. He's scrambling now. Throws the pass. And here's the pass incomplete. We see it so often nowadays. All quarterbacks moving around the pocket. That time he gets outside the pocket. But as he looks down the field, nowhere to throw it. Nobody open. Just another incomplete pass. McCoy's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Second attempt. Running it like it's an option play. He's got some daylight. Makes the move and gets around the defender. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Fix back in shotgun formation. Down the field. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. Well, even though they didn't get to completion, I like the fact that they tried to throw the football deep down the field. Keep that defense off balance. Okay. 
McCoy is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Second and ten, trying to work that left side. Picks up six. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. The defense comes out in the nickel. Vick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Cooper's got it on a pass that had some heat. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. First down, following the long play. Fix got it in the gun. Makes the catch. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. They do. Of course, it'll be a touchdown. Hard to get these hits against quarterbacks now, these blindside hits, because everybody's worried about getting hit as a quarterback, the protections, all the smart things they do, getting rid of the football fast, but they couldn't stop at that time. Big hit. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Gets away from the pressure. Dives across, and he's in for the touchdown. Good job that time by the defense. They cover the receivers. Nobody's open, but who's watching the quarterback? Nobody. Good scramble for the touchdown by the QB. And the extra point is good. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. This is five. Kicker. Receiving team. Always one of the more dangerous moments out on the field when you see a flag thrown for clipping. Yeah, it is, Jim. The player you are blocking or clipping can't protect himself. And when you go down low on those legs and do that, uh, it's a dangerous play. It's definitely worthy of the call. Lined up in the pistol formation. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Well, they call you an outside linebacker for a reason. That means you play outside, and you stop the wide runs by the offense, and he did it that time. Good job. Makes the tackle. And that will close out the third quarter here in Philadelphia. We'll return in just a moment. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. The defense gets a sack. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Third and 15, and he'll throw it over the middle. That ball has been picked off. Nowadays, your linebackers, they've got to be able to do everything. They've got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. McCoy's out in the slot. First and 10. Getting away from the pressure. Getting sacked. Outside linebackers who get to the quarterback, they are a rare breed in the NFL because it takes talent, size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker. And we saw it that time on display. Gun, gun, gun. Fix looking long, but they can't connect. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Avant's a receiver in the slot. Vic's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Looking down the field. 
Vicks looking long. Hauls it in deep down the middle. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Under fire on that throw. Well, that's just an awful job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately. But a nice job by the quarterback. Able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. Avant in the slot. Vic in shotgun formation. They're going to get him this time. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side. It's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Brandon Browner with the interception. Nice job of the defense that time. In position. They read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Let 